have you ever tried to find a job being a convicted felon? I had no job, I had a six month old, and, and I was in a bad relationship that I knew that I needed to get out of. I finally had enough of what was going on in my home. I packed all of our stuff up and I left. No job, no car, no nothing. Literally just clothes and everyday things. In Colorado, there are lots of places where if you have a felony, it doesn't matter if it's a violent felon, felony or not. Felony across the board, they won't rent to you. My grandmother opened her home up to my daughter and I, which she didn't have to do, but I'm very, I'm very lucky for that. Um, so from, for about a year and a half, almost two years, my daughter and I um, went between my grandmother and my aunt's house, which I'm sure as you all know, that's very, it's, it's not good. It was not good to have a toddler not have a stable home, you know. Uh, exactly a year and a half ago, my mom called me and um, she said, there's going to be an open house um, for a new building that's being that's being built for apartments. And I said, well, mom, you know I'm not gonna be able to rent an apartment because I have this felony in my background. And she just said, "You, the worst, you, the worst they can do is say no, go and apply. So I got up that morning, um, put my application in. So John Tembroski of Volunteers of America called me last summer to let me know that I was approved to be able to move into the property Boulevard One, which is ran by Volunteers of America. Not knowing if people really know, like, okay, I do have this felony in my background. He said, nope, it's fine, sign your lease. Well, of course I was shocked, excited, happy, nervous, all of that. And um, so I've been living at Boulevard One. Um, it'll be a year next month. It's been quite amazing. Because of the help from the service coordinator at Volunteers of America, I was able to secure a position with the Denver Public Library as a peer navigator. I honestly don't know where I would be without Volunteers of America, their support and their services.